Hello guys, welcome back to the Media Nights. My name is Ari. I'm Denise. And today we're going to be watching 2012. This is, of course, a disaster film. You guys know that we've been going through a journey watching all of these incredible films. Had a great time with The Day After Tomorrow and a lot of you guys suggested, you know, you guys got to watch 2012. It's amazing. It's a lot of fun. So we are ready for more mayhem and more chaos and destruction. Yes, especially considering, you know, it's the same director. So we already know we're going to get some sick visuals, some pretty decent character development and overall I'm just like super ready like for some really like big craziness because I remember like 2012 everyone was like super paranoid at the time that the world was gonna end and you know the Mayan calendar and all that stuff but we are still here let's see if these people are gonna make it <laughs> fun fact the day the world was supposed to end because I remember being a kid and everybody was like 2012 is the you know that day is gonna be the <laughs> final day that day you know little old me used to really not do that well in school so I had really bad grades and it was the exact day the world was gonna end so I was like listen if it happens today I ain't going to be that mad I about mean, it, you know? It's it's way better than facing my parents with these bad <laughs> grades. <laughs> Yo, facts. It was a great time, man. I'm excited to watch this. Thank you guys so much for suggesting. We hope that you enjoy. If you guys want to catch the full-length reaction, that's going to be available on our Patreon. And if you want to watch these reactions early, make sure that you hit the join button and become a YouTube member. A huge shout-out to Mandeep Singh, L4L Ranch. And William Saxon, Dunwich Manor. Guys, thank you so much for becoming Producer Nights. We hope that you have been enjoying these so far. We truly appreciate your love and support. And as always, we'll catch you guys after the movie. Let's see what kind of catastrophes await us. Ooh. <laughs> really pumped after watching The Day After Tomorrow. That oh. movie is pretty cool. That's very ominous. I was going to say. <laughs> some spooky vibes. Isn't it crazy how massive the universe is? And here we are. Yeah. Living in our tiny rock. <laughs> We're just a speck, like a speck of dust in the grand scheme of things. All right, 2009. We're still good, right? We still have a couple of years. <laughs> Make the most of it, you know? I hope you're hungry, Adrian. I'm famished. How are you, Apana? I made that fish curry you love. Uh, I can't wait. Ooh, fish Aww. curry. Hell yeah. Every time I see her, why is that? Strange, isn't it? But a fish curry is still awful. Oh. <laughs> oh, my claustrophobia. Need to go. Eleven thousand feet. Eleven thousand feet deep. Mm -mm. See, no. Namaste, Doctor Helmsley, sir. Adrian, it's just Adrian. <laughs> <laughs> Not, sir. You've come on a good day, my friend. Sometimes it can hit hundred and twenty degrees. What? Isn't it Trino's acting normally? Minuscule mass, um, no electrical charge. They pass through ordinary matter almost undisturbed. Your message okay. said the count doubled after the last solar eruptions. That was last week. Oh, what does that mean? The biggest sun eruptions in human history. Ooh. Causing the highest neutrino count we've ever recorded. Highest neutrino count. So what does that mean for us exactly? Uh, not good news. For the first time ever, the neutrinos are causing a physical reaction. That's impossible. I was gonna say, normally they just pass undisturbed. Bye, Golgo. This water tank goes down another 6,000 feet. Oof. Another 6,000. I've mutated into a new kind of nuclear particle. Is it safe to open that thing? Sorry, what? A new particle? They're heating up the Earth's core and suddenly act like microwaves. Oh, shoot. It's boiling oh, the water down there. Oh, dude, I get goosebumps from that. Ugh. We have raised $1.7 million. Sheesh. Jeez. Get that money, sir. What's the cause? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I work for the White House. I don't care who you are, sir. This is a black tie event. Scotty! Ugh. Hey, Adrian, I thought you were in India. What's yeah. going on? I need your jacket. What? <laughs> Give me your damn jacket, okay. please. <laughs> Give him the damn jacket. There you go. See? Black tie. There you go. Hey, easy. That's a $600 jacket. <laughs> Jeez. Do I know you? Sorry, sir. My name is Dr. Adrian Helmsley. I'm a deputy geologist at the Office of Science and Technology Policy. Okay, that's a mouthful. You know that this is a fundraiser, not a frat party, right? It's extremely important, sir. You know what? It always is. Here's what I want you to do. Oh, come on. Watch. Have your boss bring it up at the quarterly science briefing. Okay? There's a good plan. <laughs> yeah. 
We got another Classic. douche. Sir, I haven't slept in two days. You need to read this, sir. You need to read it now. Hell yeah, dude. Good for you, man. Yeah, it's important. I love it. National geology crisis. <laughs> <laughs> Watch when the freaking world ends. Is he going to believe him or is he going to do a day after tomorrow situation? I hope he believes him. Who do you report to? Lee Cavazos. Not anymore. Alan, bring the car around. Okay. Okay. Sir, you're about to meet the president. Oh, All okay. Right. Straight to the president, huh? Damn. Okay, so at least these people listen. <laughs> so that's nice. Mm, people are not happy. 2010. <laughs> Love it. Mr. Makarenko wishes to have his interpreters present. Mr. President, I can assure you your English is more than sufficient for what I have to say. Damn. His tone, man. You already know. Yeah. This is some serious stuff. That's scary. Yeah, they, this is really need to know basis, not even the interpreters. And at first, I refused to believe it. Went into denial. Hmm. The world as we know it will soon come to an end. Oof. <laughs> Dude, how yeah. do you even process that? Those are not the words you want to be hearing from a president. No. No wonder they're in denial, honestly. A damn project. They're gathering as many people as they can, huh? Whoa. <laughs> I'm liking the pacing of this, man. <laughs> Very intense. There's a buildup to the year 2011. And you see everything that's going on all over the world, right? One billion dollars is a lot of money. I'm afraid the amount is in euros, your highness. Ouch. Ugh. That's a hefty Even price. More. I mean, a billion dollars is already pretty high. <laughs> Mona Lisa. Mm. Are they already prepping to keep yeah. those safe? Wow. So there's no stopping what's about to happen, I guess. No. Damn, that looks pretty convincing, though. <laughs> they did a great job. <laughs> oh, boy. That was a very strong intro, man. I am invested. <laughs> Are said to have adhered to the Mayan quiche calendar, which predicts the end of time to occur. Right, on the, the Mayan calendar. Right. Of this year due to the sun's destructive forces. I remember hearing all of my friends back in the day being like, yo, it's going to be the end of the world yeah, next week. I remember that time. <laughs> I'm a dead man. I'm a dead man. Oh, no. Late for work? <laughs> ah! Jeez. <laughs> oh, man, that's the worst feeling ever. I hate being late so much. Yes, I'm hurling towards you as we speak. <laughs> hurling. <laughs> well, he's not lying about that. You remember fun, don't you, Kate? Huh? Do you remember where you were when it stopped being fun for you? <laughs> Jeez. Yes, I got it. Of course. What? Yeah. Oh, man. Okay, I gotta go because um, I'm in a bad reception area. He driving you a limo? <laughs> Do you look at that? Sick. Oh. Wow. That's nuts, man. So I guess that was a mini earthquake we saw. If you have a funny mini quake story and want to share it, call Lisa and Randy and Oh dear. That's a nice neighborhood. Very nice. Hi, Daddy. Hi, baby. How are you, sweetie? Good. Uh, Jackson, what is this? Oh, Jackson, is it? Yeah, taking them camping in a limo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you never heard of that. <laughs> He's giving them the luxurious experience. Have a nice trip. Remember, watch out for the bears. You know, like, bye, Gordon. Love you, honey. Bye, Gordon the surgeon, huh? Oh boy, plastic surgeon at that. She needs to put these on every night before she goes to sleep. Still, yes, your seven year old daughter still wets her bed. Maybe that's something you should know. Ow, <sighs> such a disconnect there, man. Yep. Don't get on your computer the whole time. Got it. Spend some quality time, you know? Yeah. Bond a little. Make some s'mores. They're definitely not making s'mores. No. <laughs> you see your boy? 
Not as much as I'd like. D.C. is a long way, but at least we talk. About what? Life. Come on, you gotta talk to your kid. Yeah, ain't no time for this. These petty things. Life is what? too short, man. What is happening? Whoa. Oh. Sheesh. And that's Whoa. a big cruise, too. I am not going on that ship. <laughs> Laura, ils nous ont menti. J'ai organisé une conférence de presse pour demain. Je vais y révéler toute la vérité sur cette affaire. What's they don't even know. J'en ai la preuve formelle. Oh, uh, my guy. Je ne vous entends plus. Roland? Laura, vous m'entendez? Laura! Oh! Oh. Oh, they silenced him real quick. Tying up all the loose ends, huh? Damn. Home away in the shadow. That is sweet. Jeez, <laughs> like, so can you dumb. shut up already? Please. <laughs> Singing the same song for three hours straight. Get your stupid ass to Yellowstone. I don't want to miss all the fun when it finally blows. I know that voice. Yes, me right? too. I'm in and out all morning, and trust me, they did not. Who is that? Oh, that's gonna kill me. We're not seeing the soil liquefaction we'd expect to find, or any evidence of fracture propagation within the tectonic plates. English, doctor. The seismic in activity in the West Coast is not caused by tect by regular earthquakes, and these so-called. <laughs> <laughs> We have been following the schedule you established, Mr. Helmsley. The most important schedule in the history of mankind. Now oh, shoot. Uh -huh. We have to throw it out. Yes, sir. It's happening quicker than expected. I was wrong. Do you know how many times I've heard those words in this office? Zero. <laughs> <laughs> wow. There's a lot about his character, right? Yeah, it's he's not about accountability. winning. It's about doing the right thing. The director of the French National Museums was scheduled to hold a press conference at the Louvre this morning. Coincidentally... <laughs> <laughs> Get yourself together, man. <laughs> An unprecedented international endeavor is underway. At this point, 46 nations are invested in this thing. Oh. She's about to learn everything about what's happening. What we need to do is focus on this timeline. That's what we okay, need to do. So when do we let the country know? What do you mean? The people, sir. Yeah, exactly. Right. Your job is to figure out when this is all going to fall apart. My job is to figure out how to retain some type of government after it falls apart. Until then, we don't have time for anything except for doing those jobs. Okay? But they're just going to keep people out of the loop? You have to tell them. Sir, it's the first daughter. I saw you looking at her. I wasn't looking at her. Better move fast, kid. The end is near. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong. If you're gonna do something about it. You might as well start. That's funny. Actually, it's a place where your mom and I used to hang out a lot. I don't want to know where you and mom had sex. I'm not ready for that, Jack. <laughs> Nobody said anything about that. Come on. I wasn't here before. What do we do? Ooh. Go get your hat. Oh no. Come on, man. It's it's restricted for a reason. You gotta be a responsible dad, man. Come on. <laughs> Used to be a lake here. Doesn't look much of a lake to me. Oh. Wasn't there like a crazy eruption? What, a couple of weeks back in Yellowstone? See, I don't want to know those things. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. They really should not be on there, man. I knew it was him. It was! It is. Okay! Oh, in it hot zone. <laughs> yes! It is! Oh my god, that's so cool. Nice to see you, Hamish. Long way from the capital. Hmm. <laughs> what is that? Uh, the government. It's the U.S. Army. That is scary. Imagine you're out there camping. You just see a whole operation go down. Ooh, that's a lot of people. Damn. You're in a restricted area, sir. We need you and your family to come with us. Right. Oh, oh you're God. in trouble. Is that a pickle? This is really wild. I love pickles, but I love that he just <laughs> randomly has one on hand. I know, right? What the hell? <laughs> this is unbelievable. 2,700 degrees Celsius or 40,000 feet. I know, it sounds completely implausible. Nonetheless, we're ticking off an increase of almost 0.5%. Per day? No, per hour. Holy shit. Well, I think you should take your kids and leave, Mr. Curtis. You're not by any chance the Jackson Curtis road Farewell Atlantis, are you? It's very safe. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually dedicated to my mom. Aww. He's got himself a fan. The shuttle has just lost communication with Earth. You're one of the lucky few who bought it. I didn't buy it. No? Uh, my, yeah. my, my dad gave it to me. But... Oh. 
Pleasure. It was a great pleasure yeah. meeting you. Well, thank you. Uh, Major, could you escort these good people to the campgrounds, please? This is yours. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. What are the odds, huh? Yeah. I like my book. <laughs> what are the odds? That's crazy. Also, I'm glad that, that worked out way better than I expected. Yeah, too. Me too. I thought they were going to kill them or some shit. You double check the numbers? I triple check, my friend. I wish we were wrong, but we're not. The Earth's crust is destabilizing. Whoa. I beg your finest pardon? Yeah, you have to do something about that, I man. We have more time. People got to know, right? At least enjoy the yeah. last couple of days if you can't do anything to stop it. Okay, I want you to pack up your family. I'm going to arrange an airlift for you from Delhi. Thank you, my friend. We are going on a big ship. Big ship. Man, that's so sad. Just that's... knowing that nothing is going to be the same. Also, cool, the fact that you know you... Ooh, hello. Hi there. What did the government guys say to you that the whole area back there is unstable unstable they said unstable yeah, unstable <laughs> <laughs> woody harrelson is great man. he's so offbeat i love it <laughs> have a good one <laughs> have a good one take care man okay children let's get away from this man <laughs> but yeah imagine also as a scientist like you do your best you know sir we have to move now! Yeah, he said there's no doubt. It's happening yeah. 100%. Now all we can do is, uh, I guess, mitigate the damage. Yeah, because nature is so unpredictable, right? It's nuts that, like they said, with all of their gear, all their technology, it, they were still wrong. And he's on his computer. Who gave you this, mommy? No, Gordon gave it to me for my birthday. Well, cell phone, something we gotta talk about, you know. Family. What family? Oh, damn. <sighs> that hurts my feelings when you say stuff like that. And you gotta spend more time with your kid, man. Yeah. You guys gotta bond. He seems very distant and resentful. Yeah. Must be also very painful, you know, like to be in this situation after you probably had a normal relationship with your kids before the divorce or breakup. He's not afraid to tell the truth. Thank you, Bill. What is your question? I wanted to know, where is all this going to start? Yeah. Well, so he's a radio host. Reporting live from Yellowstone National Park, soon to become the world's largest active volcano. Ah. Hey, um, do you mind if I join you? I, there's, I wanted to ask you something. Yeah, I only um, got a minute. Hey, Pickle. <laughs> <laughs> Just randomly has pickles everywhere. <laughs> I love that. To discover that this planet had an expiration date. According to their calendar, in the year 2012... I <laughs> he's so <laughs> he's, he's like, look, check out the animations, man. He's so proud. You'd have to keep a thing like this under wraps. I mean, just think about it, okay? So many pickles. The economy, boom! The dollar, boom! Mm. And then pandemonium in the streets, war, genocide, ba -ba 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 boom! Yeah, I guess people would just lose their mind, too, yeah. right? Nobody could keep that big a secret, Charlie. Somebody blow the whistle. And every once in a while, some poor little sucker tries. Well, like these guys. Boom! Every one of these guys, dead, dead, dead! He's been keeping track of everything. Holy shit. Yeah. Myers is dead. Oh, yeah, two months ago, he had it all figured out. Everything the government was doing, where and why. He even sent me a map. Oh. A map? Of the events where they might happen or they're building spaceships man okay okay so you kind of lost me there <laughs> Shit, man. I, I, I have to go because i gotta get back to uh <laughs> <laughs> he's like yeah i'm gonna head out man great time though get them out of Yellowstone, it's gonna get ugly here. He's like the, you know, the second person telling you that. At least on that yeah. front, you should listen. Get them out of there. <laughs> We're not making a baby in the supermarket. Oh man! <laughs> Come on! You said we will. <laughs> you promised. Money. Women pay me thousands of dollars to handle their boobs. You get it for free. <laughs> She's so lucky. <laughs> what a privilege. <laughs> Living the dream. <laughs> Oh, shit. Oh, no. Another one of these quakes. Oh, shoot. Strange. They're right there. 
Then you practically raise him Lily by yourself while he sat glued to a laptop writing that junk. It's not junk. He's published. Oh, published, right, I forgot. Oh, you don't have to be uh, a dick yeah, about it. Come on, man. Yeah, he clearly feels some type of way about her connection to her ex. Seems insecure. Did you see that? Guys, you gotta get the hell out of there. Listen, we have to keep working at this. Our relationship. There's something pulling us apart. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. That is funny. Oh, oh shit. Hold on. Don't let go. Oh, shoot. That's way bigger than I expected. Hello? Oh, hi, Mom. Did you see what happened to our supermarket? She wants us to come home. Yeah, I would want the same. I'm afraid the longer we wait, the more luck plays its part. My friends, I recommend we evacuate immediately. That's it? Out of time? Who are they evacuating, though? What do they say? 400,000 people? Yeah. That's like nothing compared to yeah. the entire world's population. I like that we get to see, you know, we get to hop around the entire world. <laughs> Yeah, hype him hey, up. Get that pep talk. Yeah. Let's get ready to rumble. Hey. <laughs> let's rumble, all right. Damn, biometrics. So I guess he's one of those people. Okay, well, they made it back home safely. Yeah, at least there's that. Yeah. Hi, sweetheart. That sucks. It got cut short. Yeah. They barely got to spend any time together. Who wants pancakes? Me. Come on. Aw, that is heartbreaking. Thanks for bringing them home early. Yeah. He could have gone anywhere else. Curtis. Yeah. Get my boys as fast as you can. Oh, I'm hurling towards you as you speak, sir. Oh, that's so cool. That's how the characters are connected, huh? It's interesting because, of course, it would make sense. He's a limo driver, so I guess he's helping the rich and famous and powerful. Curtis, you're late. <laughs> Ooh, be careful with our stuff. Don't get your dirt on it, idiot. All right, idiot. rude. <laughs> uh, spoiled little brats. Ow! <laughs> he definitely hey, did. Safe trip, you little bastard. Laughing, Curtis. But we have tickets to go on a big ship. We will live, and you will die. Okay, so yeah, oh, confirmed. What are the odds that a little child would say the same thing? Then yeah, that the other Damn. guy said. Oh, did you hear that? The authorities in LA say there's nothing to worry. About. Yeah, of course that's what they'd say. More tremors. And Beverly Hills get sucked into the gurgling maw of the Pacific. Oh. Are you a pilot? Yeah. I want to rent it, okay? I'll give you anything you want. Here, take this. This is a very expensive watch. My editor gave it to me when he uh, thought I was going to be somebody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. He wants to get the hell out of there. Wow. I guess he wasn't crazy at all. He started talking crazy about spaceships and all that, and I was like, yeah. wait a second. And they just confirmed ships, so... I guess so. I've rented a plane. Pack up the kids. I'm gonna be there in five plane? minutes. What are, you, what are you talking about? We were gonna do our regular Saturday. No has music at two, and Lil has karate. Not they would expect him to remember. I don't like Gordon that much. No. <laughs> when they tell you not to panic, that's when you run! Hey, you call me back when you calm down. Mommy? Nobody's listening. <sighs> it seems to me that the worst... Is over. Is that Man, supposed to oh. be Arnold? I think so. <laughs> this is over. Get to the chopper. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, clearly everything is gonna be fine, you guys. Oh shoot. It's lasting longer and longer. Oh, that's bad, dude. Let's go! Let's go! I think it's safer under here! Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. No time for this. Get the hell out! Damn, dude. <gasps> you don't even... Oh my god, their entire house is collapsing. My hat! 
Yeah, sweetie, no. No yeah, hats. Yeah, I don't I think those hats are done for. Shit. He's like, really, bro? Yeah. That's oh funny. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh. oh shit! Oh, you got a go go. <gasps> hey, you don't freaking say, lady. Look behind you. Oh god. Actually, this looks amazing, by the way. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, you could just hear I destruction know. all around. 360. Whoever did the mixing for this, Ugh. great. It's all chaos. Where the hell do you go? Dude, it's all the high rises falling down on them. <gasps> oh, nowhere to go. Yep, 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 yep. Turn, turn. <laughs> oh, come oh, on. Oh, God. That's way too close. <laughs> Damn. Feel like you can finally breathe? Nope, guess oh, not. Nope. Not even close. No, 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 no. Oh, he's going for it. <gasps> Whoa. That is so sick, though. <laughs> Hell yeah, Great man. Great sound design, man. Great driver, dude. <laughs> Sheesh. This is coming in live from Coachella Valley out near Joshua what? Tree, that huge canyon. <gasps> it wasn't there this morning. And 400 miles further north, White Reyes, same thing. Oh, it's all just pulling apart. The whole Pacific plate is destabilizing. Yeah, that's the big one, huh? <gasps> that is scary, dude. Were you even go in that situation? Oh no. Who's that? Our pilot! Get your watch back. He won't need it anymore. No, no, I've only had a couple what? of lessons in a single engine plane only! You're the guy! No, no, I <laughs> You're gonna have to be now. <laughs> Gordon's gonna get us out of here. Scared. Look, that plane has more. Gordon's uh, gonna get Gordon. us out of here. You might as well, man. This is your time to shine. Thank goodness he took a couple lessons, at least. Dude, the scale of <gasps> destruction. Oh no. So violent oh, and so fast. Oh my god. Let's go. Let him concentrate, Jackson. He, he has no experience. And no time for, for you know. Pre checks, whatever. You gotta go. Go, go, yeah. go, 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 go. <laughs> we can check it up there. It's okay. <laughs> I mean, definitely not okay, but under these circumstances. He's good. I screw it. I mean, go. you do what we can. <laughs> they got out of there you right go, up, Gordon. Right in time. All right, you're doing fine, bud. Dude, this is epic. How is the it? hell did we get here? We're on an airplane now. <laughs> Shit. Oh, no, 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 no. <gasps> All those people, though. That's messed up. Dude, they weren't kidding, man. Probably the best visual representation of what the end of the world would look like. This yeah. looks oh. so good. <gasps> oh. Why oh are God. the trains always messing up, man? <laughs> Subway's always... Oh no. Shit. Oh no. That's all too close for comfort. Oh my god. That is that's, haunting. That's so upsetting, man. There goes LA. Lily, go sit with your brother. What the actual hell? I met this guy in Yellowstone, this crazy guy, but he's been right about everything that's happened so far. He wasn't that crazy after all, yeah? yeah? Trust me on this, okay? Guys, look. Oh no. What now? <gasps> um. Yeah, it's all sinking. No survivors, right in that area. Like, there's nothing you can do about it. I, I guess these guys are better off. <laughs> the end of the world. <laughs> Been a hell of a trip, but it ain't the end of the world. Great song selection. <laughs> Yeah, hello. Dad. Adrian. 
Remember when I told you about that dam in China? Oh, what? That's his dad? Probably shoot me if they knew that I told you. Oh, he's trying to warn him. Of course. We had one hell of a great life, son. And the best part about that is we had one hell of a great kid, too. Oh. That's a pretty big ship, son. So don't you write your old man off just yet. I love you, Dad. Oh, no. I love you, too, son. God knows I do. That is horrible. Heartbreaking. Being the one to find out and not even being able to, you know, take your, your family with you. Yeah. Help them in some way. I'm standing here at the highest point of what is the rim of the world's largest super volcano, Mount Bighorn. Charlie! Elevation Mount Bighorn. Charlie! Feet. Charlie ain't there, bud. We gotta find Charlie because he's got a map. It's like a secret map, like in the pirate movies. Okay, we gotta work as a team, okay? Okay. Okay, come on. Right, they already told us, right? There is a map, and since everything else he's been saying has been correct so far, that map probably has some really important info that's actually oh, yeah. accurate. What fireworks? Daddy, daddy, daddy oh, over there. Send all of Yellowstone into outer... Ah, oh, there bingo. he is. Okay. Good girl. No! Okay. No, you stay here. You guard the ship, and I'm going to go talk to the pirate, okay? <laughs> guard the ship. Man, the fact that they have kids just adds to the tension. Dude. We have a plane. You can come with us, but we gotta Tell leave. Us where right they are, now. yeah. Oh, oh hell no! No 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 no! Get See? the hell out of there See, right that's, now! That's really really bad. He's nuts. <laughs> He's nuts. I love it. Where's the guy? What are you doing here? Oh. What? Oh. Get the hell out. Yeah. Get the hell out of there now. What the hell is happening? So beautiful. I'm gonna stay. You're gonna die. Oh, okay. To each their own, I guess. Guys, and we will be visible from oh. the Milky Way as a yeah. tiny. I have to say, the visuals in this are so impressive. This is man. amazing, yeah. Also love the wider shots they're giving us because we get to see the entirety, like the full scale of oh, holy exactly shit. Exactly like this. <laughs> Washington DC will have its lights go out. That guy's crazy, right, Daddy? I don't think so. Yeah, I mean neither. <laughs> we thought so, but I guess he was quite quite there. The guy's a nut job. Stop it, Gordon. Gordon, if it wasn't for him, you'd be dead, man. Yeah. Okay. I know you lost your Porsche. <laughs> and that sucks, but who Look at the shockwave on Dude. that thing. Oh, oh the no. shockwave is coming. Oh, no. What was that? That's going to be a loud bang. Nothing. Trouble, that's what it Nothing. was. I have goosebumps, people. Oh. YouTubers be like. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yo, it flattened the trees. Oh, God. Oh, he's enjoying the hell out of this. Yeah. Birds from Charlie! Whoa! Oh. <laughs> oh, Charlie. Charlie, the MVP. R.I.P., man. He loved pickles. <laughs> Gonna miss ya. <laughs> Shit. It's like a meteor shower. Don't look back. Just look at me. Look at me. Do I look scared? <laughs> <laughs> scared She's shitless, like, mind yes, you. Yes, <laughs> you do. Well, Daddy, we're on fire! They lost half, or a part of their RV. Yeah, go, 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 go! Oh god, this is way too close! Oh, oh no. Shit. How the hell are they gonna... No, Daddy! Hang on, baby, hang on! He's gonna go hang for on, it? Hang on, hang on, hang <laughs> on! Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, and he still has to look for the map thing. Oh my god, I forgot about the goddamn map. Oh. No, no. Back. Back. Everybody on, we ready? Just take them all, man. You can look for them later. No, that's the London tube map. 
Okay, 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 let's go now. Oh, oh shit. Oh no, oh no. Oh, oh, no. oh <laughs> my god. Yeah, start climbing. Hold on for dear life, dude. Hey, you have to go. No, we're not going anywhere. Kids, buckle up, we're leaving. Oh, now you're not checking the pressure, huh? <laughs> Oh, he's gonna leave them there? Damn. He made it, he made it, okay. He's okay. good, he's good. I see something! Ah! Come on, man, wait just a little bit longer. <laughs> what an epic shot, wow. <laughs> him and that man. massive wall behind him. Ooh. Jackson, run! Yeah, you gotta haul ass, Jackson, let's go. Ah! Ah! Come on, man. Come on! Sheesh. Yeah. Okay, <gasps> let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh. They're lucky it's a smaller plane, but. Yeah. Oh, shit. Pull up, pull oh, up, no. pull up. Oh, <laughs> oh man, man, my stomach. <laughs> they keep cutting it way too close. Hang on. You gotta step on it, man. Step on it. Oh, that's. Uh, that was a close call. Man, imagine being <laughs> swallowed by all that. Dude. You can't see anything. We're good. We're good. Good job, man. That's two for two, Gordon. Gonna become the best pilot ever. <laughs> We're gonna need a bigger plane. Yeah. Heading all the way to China? <laughs> He's like, what do you mean? <laughs> I like the reference to Jaws. Gonna need a bigger boat, gonna need a bigger plane. <laughs> millions upon millions of distraught masses are gathering in public places everywhere, converging in desperate prayer. Preachers of many religious- Yeah, I mean, what else can you do, right? Kind of galling when you realize that nut bags with the cardboard signs had a right to hold all these people. <laughs> <laughs> the Yellowstone caldera has erupted, sir. The ash cloud will reach Washington in roughly seven hours. <sighs> all the way to Washington. Where's the president, Sally? He said he wanted to spend some time alone. I think he's over at the chapel. He's got to go to church now? He's praying, sir, which under the circumstances is not such a bad idea. <laughs> yeah. Might as well give it a shot, right? <laughs> Did you ever meet my wife, Dorothy? No, sir. The night before she passed on, she took my hand and she told me, I think you should have a lottery. Everyone should have a chance to go. Yeah. Maybe that's what we should have done. That sounds a bit more fair. How did you choose them to begin with? Yeah. No one could have saved the country, sir. I think people have a right to know. Don't worry, I'll take care of that. Go on now. So what, did they only give tickets, I'm assuming, to politicians, right? Since That's my guess. everybody within this circle had one. Yeah. It's a brave new world you're heading to. And a young scientist is going to be worth 20 old politicians. Precisely. Which is why it shouldn't be just politicians. It needs to be people that, like you said, that can contribute. Because it's not just scientists, right? You need seamstresses, you need cooks, you need people who know how to farm, or all sorts of other aspects to make life work. How the hell are we going to make it to China, huh? Hey, Gordon, go Jackson, we wouldn't even made it out of California. Right, Noah, please. <laughs> All right, the kid is entering his redemption arc. Yeah. I can see that. <laughs> yeah. He's like, wait a second, you're being a little bit too mean here. What's the confirmation? President's not coming. Uh, Say what now? What? I have also just learned that the vice president's chopper went down in the ash cloud outside of Pittsburgh. Oh shit, so who's in command now? I have no idea, where is he? He's the commander in chief now, sir. I don't know what to tell you. This is one flight you shouldn't have been late for. Tell the captain we're taking off. <laughs> sir, you don't have the authority. Jesus. You've got the authority, you? You've got the authority? You couldn't even keep your goddamn mouth shut. You betrayed top secret information last year, could have had us all killed. What the hell are you talking about? You told your father everything. Oh. Good thing for you, the old man could keep his mouth shut better than you. Oh, come on, don't look so shocked. We had to monitor everybody you knew. How do you think we kept it a secret for so long? Oh my God. Jeez. They were monitoring him all this time? Yeah, that's exactly what happened. They're an enemy of humanity. The director of the Louvre was an enemy of humanity? After he called a press conference, he was. So they knew. They yeah, are so it probably was the ones, yeah. Sit down and buckle up. You know, oh, I wow. would not be surprised at all if this is how governments act. I would I mean, not be surprised. I mean, there is like 
those secret operations they do, right? <laughs> that yeah. are off the off the record. The president's on the line, Dr. Wilson. Thank you. She doesn't even know. <gasps> I mean, he probably waited until she was on the plane so she wouldn't try to You never would have gotten on that plane if I told you. There it is. Do you understand how much strength it gives me? Knowing that you'll survive. The only thing left to do now is tell the truth to people. At least if they know. Families can say goodbye to each other. Exactly. And comfort her children. And a father can ask his daughter for forgiveness. <laughs> Whenever you're ready, Mr. President. <gasps> oh, shit. Imagine how he must be feeling, right? He's got to break the news. Like, that's... I can't imagine. We are a nation of many religions, but I believe these words reflect the spirit of all our faiths. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not. Oh shit. Oh, that's so that's disturbing. It? Oh, that's so bad. Well, there's the pandemonium, <gasps> but at least the people know now. What are you doing here? Excuse me. She's a patient, honey. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> she was like, wait, uh, what? She's like, Who is that? <laughs> But the tower didn't let them. They can still fly that thing, huh? Sure, boss. But I need co Yeah. Go to the pilot. There you go. Uh, I was going to no, say. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> yes, he is. Great pilot. Let's go. I mean, at this point, he's good enough. <laughs> Amazing pilot. Wow, that worked out well. <laughs> he's like, Jackson, please stop saying I'm a pilot. No, no, what's going on? Oh. Oh, good. Yep. It's here. Wow, that's a big plane. It's Russia. Huh? Okay. The Antonov, isn't that like the biggest plane in the world? Or one of the? The Antonov sounds very familiar, so it's gotta be that. Oh my god. Not again. <laughs> hey man, you're doing great. <laughs> man, this guy is loaded. They grabbed the one plane that had all the all the cool cars. Tower to Antonov, what the hell are you doing? Shut down immediately. Um, no. <laughs> I'm definitely not shutting down. It's like, tower control, you should you should probably go home, man. Spend some time with your family. Yeah, at this point. Once, okay? Okay. Whoa! Antonov, abort takeoff. Damn, so you actually need two people to operate this thing at the same time for it to work. Uh, yeah, there goes oh, tower control. Oh, that's so messed up. Um, the landing gear. I don't know, but it's not good. Just, just focus on getting out of there. You can deal with that later. They definitely don't have the runway for that plane. Oh my god. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. no. And yeah, that thing is just gliding. one, too. I got it. Sasha, now! Take a deep breath. Oh, yeah, lift that okay. baby up. Oh, oh man. Lift your big ass for Sasha. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. Okay. Oh, shit. No. Oh. Okay, that could have been worse. That could have been way worse. <laughs> Is that the Eiffel Tower? I think so. It's not the real one. That's fine. It's the Vegas one. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Man, this movie's so much fun. It is. The world is coming to an end, my friend. Oh. Oh, not really, huh? Mm. <laughs> the chicken is like what? Kalasako. <laughs> All right, pea chicken. Yeah, I guess it didn't make it. <laughs> so, how did you meet Dr. Silverman? As you can see, not the same way you did. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Boyfriend asked me to get them done. But he's not your husband? Oh no, we are not married. Probably never will. Ooh, some gossip. Yikes. Come on, girl, stand up. Stand on business. You deserve better. <laughs> so tell me, Mr. Karpov, how much did you pay? One billion euro per seat. Per seat. Jeez. Uh, guys, there's a, um, you might want to. We're going to want to take a look at this. <laughs> <gasps> oh, 
Oh, shit. What is that? The state of Hawaii. <laughs> What's left of Hawaii? Oh, my God. Not good. Yeah, I, I think you should start forgetting about refueling here. We're going to have to make a water landing somewhere in South China Sea. Great. At least we're not going to need the landing gear. What about it? Oh, we lost it all in Vegas. <laughs> lost the landing gear for a you know for a plane that massive. That's uh, terrible news. H Hello, I I'm sorry. Wh who is this? This is Yoko Delgado. Do you want to speak to my daddy? Oh. Yes, please. Who should I say is calling? Tell him it's his father. Good job. You're my grandpa. Yes, sweetheart, I am. He doesn't even know him. Daddy, Daddy, Grandpa's on the phone. Damn. No. no. Oh. oh my God. Too late. Damn, this movie is surprisingly emotional and sad. Like, yeah, I guess it goes with comes with the territory right but man it hits i like that they lean into you know how helpless the feeling is if you're just one of the regular people right you're so far away from the ones you love what's the matter sweetie she can't find her daddy why don't you two get comfy on that couch sally come help them out okay i'll find your daddy no you could see he's just happy to to help people and be there for them yeah comfort them you can help me with missing persons uh, sorry man i'm really busy right now uh, I mean, uh, Might want to help the president. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. President. Uh, don't worry about it. You're doing a great job, sir. Oh, no. <sighs> oh, that's so terrifying. Oh. Oh, yeah, it's coming down. Oh. What's happening? The Capitol's been hit by a 9.4. A 9.4? All those poor people. Oh, oh no. The Earth's crust has begun to shift, Dr. Helmsley. Yeah, it's going to be unrecognizable, huh? We expect the formation of gigantic tsunamis proportional to the magnitude of the corresponding quakes. Of course. Yeah, that makes sense. We recorded two underwater quakes at 7.9 and 8.2. Oh my god. Two? What does it mean for them? Oh shit, I guess we're about to find out. Large areas of land are underwater. Please stay tuned for further. Can you imagine? That's it. You know you're never gonna go back home. There is no home to go back to. That's it. Yeah. That is a massive wave right in front of them. Yep. That is it. Yeah, he accepts his fate. Yeah. Capsizing a ship that size? Kidding me. Yeah. Damn, dude. And he had to wake up for this. Like, that's so messed up. Couldn't he have just stayed passed out through that I'm so he didn't have to see this? No. USS John Kennedy. Oh. Yeah, that's oh. it. There goes the White House. Yep. Oh, man. We are so helpless in the face of nature, it's not even funny. Puts things into perspective, right? Do you think people change? By people, do you mean me? <laughs> yes. Essentially, yes. Do you yes. think you've changed since we separated? Why, why are you asking? You always had tunnel vision. You just block everything out and write. You blocked us out. Yeah. Yeah, there's still feelings there, huh? Yeah. That's sad, man. Yeah. Ugh. Sometimes you gotta choose what's good for you, right? Not necessarily what you want. The Earth's poles have reversed their magnetic fields. 
These are their new positions. What? So you're you're telling me that the North Pole is now somewhere in Wisconsin? <laughs> Wisconsin? <laughs> That's crazy, dude. All of it has shifted. And even with the ships, like, where do they, what are they going to do? Just wait in orbit? <laughs> like, <laughs> what's the plan here? How long? Dad, what's wrong? Sasha said we got to land and uh, it's going to be a little bumpy and maybe a little wet. Excellent. So they're going to go for that uh, water landing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. But what's the plan after? Swimming. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do. We're just going to all stay together, right? No, we're not. We're going to die. No, we're not. I got to say, the kids have been keeping it together up until now. Yeah. Good for them. Oh, uh, no. Uh, it really is not what it looks like, though. <laughs> I mean, they're family. Like, yeah, they're not going to not be family. Yeah, it's he's always going to be exactly. a thing. He's always going to be their father, you know? Kind of have to get comfortable with that idea. There is no more ocean, and we're pretty close to where we wanted to go. It's like the whole world shifted by what a thousand now? miles. One. Oh, because the. <gasps> oh, it did! Oh, that's so lucky! We just lost You're kidding, the right? engine. Oh, that's it? Gonna have to glide all the way uh, to. Man. Where the hell do you even land here? I don't know, man. Uh, <laughs> no, not this again. Oh, man. Good on the pilots for keeping their cool. Listen, this is gonna sound crazy, but here's what you have to do. Wait, I wanna hear that conversation. Wait. What are we doing? Don't cut away from that. Taking the Bentley. Not yet. Taking the Bentley. Oh shit! <laughs> oh no! Oh, that is sick. Oh, that's so <laughs> smart. Of course. Okay, if it's ice. Oh uh, yeah. Drive. <laughs> Make sure everybody gets out of the plane before they touch the. What about you? I'll be fine. I have to touch this baby down. Oh no. Just go with him. Yeah, I was going to say, I mean, just keep it in a straight line because what are you going to do? There's no fuel. Your engines are gone. Yeah. There's no saving that plane. I guess just trying to really make sure to keep that yeah. plane steady. Engine. Start. <laughs> Excuse me? Voice control. Sell me on it. Voice control. Okay. I mean, it's one way to keep your car safe. <laughs> oh, no, oh. not all those beauties. Okay, that's good. That's good. Yeah, he touched down. Okay. Oh, oh. Come on. <laughs> Man. All right. Get off. Yeah, right Stop now. Stop waiting around. You're kidding, right? You're kidding? Yeah. Oh, man. I'm sorry. As soon bro. as he stayed behind, I was like, oh, man, yeah. it's not. Oh. <laughs> Tasha didn't make it. Be a big ass freaking spaceship, man. <laughs> Elephants, giraffes. Yeah, they're trying to just save as much as they can, right? I have green card. Oh. For my boys and me. Yuri! Damn. You think I didn't know about you and Sasha? Ooh. God bless that poor bastard soul. Oh, damn. I'm sorry, guys. Good luck. Damn, that's just why she reacted them, yeah. that way. Yeah. There have been reports of severe damage, Captain. What's the status of arc number three? We haven't done a complete assessment yet. We need to see what these vehicles are because they are, they're calling them arcs. Yeah. No toothbrush, only books. <laughs> you know, when I was a kid, my dad was on the road a lot. He always leave me a box full of books and call me every night and quiz me. Oh. <laughs> An ice cream cone for every book I read, so I was a fat kid. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's true. My high school career was 2,000 books and zero girlfriends. <laughs> I didn't even kiss a boy till I was in college. They were all too scared of my dad. 
I mean, <laughs> I mean that kind of tracks. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Can you imagine dating the daughter of the Uni of the president of the United <laughs> States of America? That's on a different level. Wow, look at this facility. <laughs> of well, of course. That's arc number three, sir. The roof collapsed on it during the shifting of the Earth's oh, crust. Man. Dude, those those things are massive. Hey, what's going on here? I have a green glass for my voice and me. I want to speak to a supervisor. Oh man. Get back with the other green cards or I'll have you detained. That's the worst luck ever. Imagine paying a billy, a billion euros only for the arc not to be ready. I'll be so freaking pissed. <laughs> Give me a refund. Did you know he asked me for a discount? And he paid in installments. Cheap bastard. What? He's that rich and he paid in installments? <laughs> My god. Hey! Hey! Help, help, help! Stop! 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 Wow. Nice throw. Wow, everything is coming together, huh? Hey! Yeah, please help. <laughs> What about all these workers? They all get passes? No, let me guess. You want to donate your passes to a couple of Chinese workers? You be my guest. Wow, what a douchebag, man. He's such a f***ing asshole. Heartless. They're so cavalier about it, man. Like, not I'm... even the people that built them yeah. <laughs> get to go. That's so messed up. Oh, not them. What happened to them? I thought they were supposed to be picked up, no? Weren't they supposed to get an airlift? Yeah, something like that. Sadam, where are you? On the Nampan Plateau. What? The tidal wave coming from the east. It's gigantic. Sandra, what happened? You never got picked up, Adrian. Oh my god. The airlift never came. Goodbye, my friend. That is so unfair. He was the one that. Yeah. If it weren't for him, nobody would None of have this been saved. Yeah. Oh, I'm so angry right now, man. That is just so sad. It's so ah! damn unfair. Yeah, I'll be so yeah. pissed too. I would that throw, is... throw me off this goddamn ship and let all the other people in. Sandam didn't get picked up. What? A lot of people didn't get picked up in this chaos. Oh, screw you, man. It's ready. It's ready. Oh, God, it's 1,500 meters high. No. 1,500 meters high? How high is the mountain they're on? All right, is it going to be a direct hit? Like... 28 minutes, 10 seconds to impact. Oh my God. Less than half an hour to get things moving. He thinks the world of you, you know that? He's a great little man. There you go, some... Yeah. A little bit of bonding here. I always wanted to have a family of my own. You're a lucky man, Jackson. Oh, but you're part of their family too. Ah, there he is. Coming full circle, huh? Bit by bit. You don't have to take all of us. Please just take my children. I'm begging you. Wow. Why should I do that? Same reason you said for your family. Exactly. Yeah. Please, just the children. You don't have to take us. Please. Damn, they're like, whatever. Leave us behind, but take mm -hmm. them. <laughs> He's got a plan, huh? Yeah. I cannot turn people away from that man, no. knowing that I'm just sending them straight to their doom. I wonder what his plan is, because he said it for that many... I mean, obviously, it makes sense, right? It's easier to hide a couple people rather right. than... Get back! Yes. I tell you! We are leaving you behind you! No Please be patient. Oh! Ooh. Jeez! That was a boxer punch, too. <laughs> Ow. Poor guy. That was technique. <laughs> yeah. He's leading the rebellion. <laughs> I mean, at that point, you gotta get vicious, man. It's, a, it's life or death at this point. Wow. Why are they anchors? Because they're not spaceships, buddy. They're arcs. Yeah. As in So, like, it's ships. an actual arc. Yeah, yeah, it's a ship. A boat. Okay. I was wow. waiting for the actual confirmation, because they never really... <laughs> they just kept calling them different things. Yeah. But that makes sense, yeah.
Just exactly how long are these things expecting to hold us in place, Captain? They're just meant to withstand the first impact of the waves, Mr. Anheuser. Okay. Oh, so they're designed. They knew that the water was going to, yeah, of course, was going to arrive all the way here. Yeah, they just, they just expected to have more time. <laughs> go, Caesar, go! <laughs> Come on, baby, go, go, go! Come to mommy! Oh. Poor baby. Oh, it's closing! Oh, shit. All right, go, 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 go! <laughs> Ain't that the joke? <laughs> well deserved. <gasps> That's funny. But I will remind you that we have very limited resources and extremely limited time. Ask yourselves, can we really stand by and watch these people die? There's a young astrophysicist from India who's the reason we're all here. Oh, for God's sake. For God's sake? Somebody punch this guy! Everybody out there has died in vain if we start our future with an act of cruelty. What will you tell your children? Yeah. It's gonna stay in history, that's yeah. for sure. China and Japan. Agree to open the gates. Nice, yeah. Thank you. There's so much room. And I believe I may also speak for the Italian Prime Minister. We vote to let these people come in. Thank God. He did the right thing, man. Yeah. This is a captain. It's, it's crazy because these are people that actually paid to be on there. You're just going to leave them behind? You're not even at full capacity. Oh, that's Ooh. why. That's why they got all the animals. Oh. They're not opening the gate. Go, go. Hi, go look at oh, hurry shit. Up, hurry up, hurry up. Oh, shit. Oh, we're counting on that, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh, something happened. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, no. Oh. Ah. Come on, come no. on. Get him out of there. Hold on, John. Give me a hand. Give me a hand. Break for it. Go. Come on, man. Come on, Gordon. No! Gordon, come on, come on! Oh god. Ah, uh, that just sucks, man. Making it making it all the way here and then still suffering a horrible death. That's a horrible way to die, Crushed. dude. Yeah, no. Come on, guys. You got you gotta hustle. Oh, guys. They're gonna mess oh. everything up. All right, move it. We didn't run the full cycle. We're checking, Captain. Yeah, there's going to be no order anymore. People are just going to yeah. get in and try yeah. to stay safe. Because you caused that desperation. This did not need to happen. Oh, dude. There it is. How did it reach this high? That's insane. It's crazy how massive it is, isn't it? Yeah. So sad thinking about all the beautiful places that got destroyed. Yeah. So many nice places, man. Oh, one last person, come on. Well, he ultimately made a sacrifice, right? Yeah, I guess he redeemed himself in some way, right? Saved his kids. I like the human element in this, actually, like how people can be complex as well. Even though you're super selfish, you can have that yeah. one moment where you can choose to be different, you know? Yeah. Captain, we have a breach in the zoological bay. Can you zoom in? <laughs> yeah. He's going to recognize like, hey. them? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'd have gotten us all killed, but as long as your conscience is clean, right, Helmsley? Captain, let's get an emergency team down there. I'll meet them at the hydraulics chamber. Conscience is super clean, man. How about yeah. yours? <laughs> yeah. I'm amazed that nobody sucker punched him in the face I just know. now. Like this guy. My patience ran out like 20 minutes ago. <laughs> we expect to be impacted by water shortly. We need to go this way. All you new passengers, hit the deck. Okay, let's go. Brace yourself. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Time to prep for impact. Whoa, dude. Wow. Oh, I wonder 
how much force with how much force those waves hit actually that's a good question like exactly how much does that weigh because uh, oh. that's it of course all that water is going to start flooding oh, in now oh shit damn it is there not like a secondary door they can shut down prevent the water from going going in mm -hmm. even further water is penetrating the stairs the ship is starting to seal itself up one compartment at a time. Yeah, that's oh, what it so is. Oh, so they do exactly. have a protocol for it. Okay. Yeah. I was going to say. We need to go back. We need to go back. Need to go back to him, man. Oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> Hurry up, guys. Come on. They're sealed in. Oh, no. <laughs> that must be so terrifying for oh, the mother. To not even know because it doesn't it, look like you can hear or see. Oh, Professor, shit. it's Air Force One. <laughs> no way. The Air Force One. Oh, no. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, contact, no shit. So override it. Hit the override button and start the engine. We can't start the engine until we close that gate. Close the damn gate somehow, but... It's crazy the amount of uh, problems that little crew, our little yeah. crew caused them, actually. It's Adrian Helmsley, we met at Yellowstone! That's free! Open the goddamn door! <laughs> <laughs> nice. Wait, 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 wait. Where's Noah? I'm right here, Luke! That's great, at least they get some confirmation that everybody's yeah. okay for now. 29,000 feet, what the hell is it, 29,000 feet? We're headed straight for the north face of Mount Everest, Mr. Anheuser. No shit. What? We will not survive the impact. Say what now? They're How? so high up, man. Of course. I need to understand the physics of all of this. <laughs> I need somebody to explain that to me. It's completely submerged down there. There'd be no way for them to get any air. There's no other way. But it's a suicide mission, sir. Shit. I know where it is. I'll give it a try. No. We caused this thing. It was us. Gotta go check it out. Yeah, he knows. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. I mean, <laughs> might as well. <laughs> like, ah, eh, Gordon is not around anymore. We can we can go back to being a family. That's so messed up. Gordon who, anyway. <laughs> no. I feel so bad for her, dude. Because she's by herself, too. Yeah, nobody can hear her. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Shh. Ah, oh, this kid. Couldn't stay put. Show us the hydraulic chamber. Come on, man, pull. Must be so jammed in there. Dude. Like, you must be hella strong to try to get that thing out of there. God damn it, I told you to stay up there with her. <laughs> this kid. Yeah, I'm too. So get it. Doctor, you change my Hold on, man. Yeah. This is really bad, dude. Come on, man. There you go. Oh no. It's just tangled. Great job. You light the way, and I'll go for the cable. Distance. Good job, kiddo. <laughs> 400 oh, meters. Man. Oh. <sighs> okay. Oh, good, good. Oh, wow. That's good. This is good. That helped. Yeah. <sighs> good job, you guys. Holy crap. Not a moment too soon. Full reverse. Yeah, full reverse. Imagine the size of those engines Dude. to move something of that scale. How much fuel are you burning through with that thing? <laughs> Distance to impact 10 meters. 20 meters. Oh. Okay, good, good. All right, it's working. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Do you know that feeling after having so much? <laughs> Tension and adrenaline, you finally crash. Yeah, it was right there. 
Okay. Dad. Don't kill him off now. That'd be so messed up. That'd be so tragic, dude. There he is. It's the little fake out, you know, keep us at the edge of our seat. <laughs> little fake out. Suck on that asshole. <laughs> People are going to hate this guy. Like once things go back to normal, if they ever do, they're going to be like, yeah, this guy. Yeah. Yeah. Don't don't like this guy at all. Public enemy number one, man. Screw that guy. I don't like him. Thumbs up for sure. What now? How do you even begin to rebuild society? See, that's an excellent question, because... Day 27, month one, year one. Damn. It all reset? I guess so, yeah. What else are they going to call it, right? And isn't it funny, just this morning, we worked it out. Somehow or another, we all have relatives in Wisconsin. Hey, in the South Pole now. Do you think there's anything else we might possibly share in the future? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Are you asking me out on a date, Dr. Helmsley? Because you know my diary is pretty full. Actually, yes, I was. He's a good man. He deserves, yeah, he deserves you know, it. to have a break. Something Dr. nice Helmsley happened to him. Bridge, oh, come on. Nah, make out. Make out anyway. Come here. Good girl. See, hey. she gets it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> As you know, our passenger count is way over capacity. So yeah. please, be careful when you step out. And of course, enjoy the fresh air. But everybody seems to fit just fine still. Yeah, they're saying over capacity. I'm like... Perhaps a weight capacity, but not space capacity. Where have you been all my life? Gift shop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they got a second chance at life, huh? Yeah. You start to truly appreciate the little things like spending time with your family and being safe, right? Mm -hmm. And even being able to step outside like this, right? Fresh air. Wonder where they are. Wow. Uh, Get some sunlight. Oh, that's so cool. I love the design of the uh, the ships, man. Yeah. Oh, it's so cool. It's like a bullet. <laughs> it's so cool that it's also modular in so many ways, right? You can tell that it's just supposed to just... Close everything back up for safety. The waters are receding much faster than we thought. Thank God. Oh, okay. KwaZulu Natal. The entire African continent is risen. What? Oh. feet, and it likely never even flooded. That's why they call it the nice. Cape of Good Hope. We've already set course for it. Oh wow. Wow. Okay, so they've got land. Right. I mean, wherever we're all together, that's home. Don't be scared. I'm not. Yay! Hey. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> <laughs> We're proud of you, little one. She did it. Wow. There they go. So all of it just shifted, huh? Yeah. Out of place. That's just insane. Man, I wonder what would be uh -huh. the procedure to get things going once more. Dude, all the bureaucracy and... <sighs> it's crazy. Hey, man. That was a fun time. Wow. That was a lot of fun. I gotta say, this this was a visual spectacle, man. A lot of the visual effects here were fantastic. All the wave action that we got looked amazing. I mean, it looked so damn good. That earthquake sequence with the limousine, that was awesome, man. That Dude. was so freaking cool and so tense. Like, you really felt like you were in there with them. The camera work and everything they did there to make you feel like you were a part of the journey, it, it kept the tensions high throughout, you know, pretty much the entirety of the movie. And I think it was also paced very well. Whenever it was, you know, intense uh, moments of destruction, you felt it, but they also took the time to kind of slow the movie down, give these characters some development and kind of, you know, let the audience know where things are at each stage of the film. Yeah, absolutely. I really like that, you know, all of the characters, whether we were introduced them like very briefly or whether we got to spend more time with them, they all had a purpose in this and it all came full circle circle and I, I really appreciate that about the writing because all of these characters yeah there's some suspension of disbelief here where it's like what are the odds that they all know each other in one way or another but um aside from that I thought it was great that they actually all knew each other in some shape or form right there were these tenuous connections between all of them and then it ended up working out for our main group 
or, or most of them, shall we say. <laughs> I really enjoyed what all of the characters were bringing to this, whether it's, you know, um, in an antagonistic way or more in like, you know, the, the good guy and good people trying to, you know, surmount these obstacles. I thought it was very entertaining. The human element in this, I think, was handled very well. I also really liked that, you know, we got to see a little glimpse behind the curtain of the, the decisions that the government would have to make and like the good things and also like the bad things that, that would happen with that, right? And it's you can understand that they would sell tickets eventually because, you know, they need the funding, you know, they need the money to build these things. And it's not an easy operation to manage. Not that it's OK, but it's like, you know, they also I'm assuming they were on a very tight schedule, which means you need a lot of people to kind of do this. But it's like, man, there were so many moments in this where I was so angry. <laughs> I was so upset because I'm like, this is 100 percent something that human beings would do, you know, just just the size of that room you know the size of that one room and when he says like you could fit 10 people in here and i'm just looking at it and it's like a luxurious like room you have even like wine cups and shit like that and i'm like dude like this did not need to be this way like we we did not have to leave so many people behind but at least you know the ones that we got to save we got to save so you know that's a bit of an upside i suppose yeah i like how this movie focused more on the human side of things you know the good and the bad and how those you know how that theme just kept coming back you know people making good decisions and then people making bad decisions, whether that was, you know, for selfish reasons or for survival, I guess. <laughs> Uh, I liked how, you know, we got to see how each person kind of came to terms with the fact that this is the end, right? Because that's a big thing to tackle, like you getting that news that this is it. You know, there's nothing we can do to fix this. We're all dead, essentially, if we don't do anything about it. You know, compared to the day after tomorrow, I like how Roland Emmerich took a different direction in this, where this time around, people took, you know, the warning quite seriously, but the time was just not enough for the scale of the situation they were in. Right. Like I mentioned before, I thought the camera work in a lot of these sequences was fantastic, especially when you got to see the full scale of things. It was very clear what was happening, which is not always easy when you're doing a disaster film and you're putting the camera and the audience right in the middle of it. Sometimes it can get a little bit muddy. In this case, I thought they managed such a great balance. You had that muddiness and kind of chaotic vibe to the film when you needed it. But when you needed to see exactly what was happening, you would get a wide shot. You would know, OK, that's the camper. <laughs> There's like freaking magma balls like meteorites coming like straight down into the ground you know exactly everything that's going on or the Antonov sequence a lot of it was very very well directed in my opinion for a movie of this magnitude uh and it was really easy to follow along which is again not always easy but not only did they do it in a really good way technically speaking they also managed to make it look incredible visually speaking so that that was fantastic the characters again very likable i like the whole you know family dynamic it was very unique to like having this, the, the, you know, the stepdad and him coming in. Like we've seen those things before, but I like how they switch things around. It's like, what if they got along and they right. weren't being petty and they were actual adults about it? Right. It's a shame that we we lost, you know, the people that we did, um, you know, yeah. throughout the film. But it does make sense. I mean, these people are trying to evade this cataclysmic event left and right. And they were really in the middle of it, trying to get away from the storm as, as quickly as possible. I really like the, the president of the United States. I liked how, you know, he decided to stay behind and let someone else take that position because like in the end some people came to that conclusion like if we're gonna you know restart civilization would i give my position to someone else like isn't someone that's a bit more prepared for something like this a better choice like if you really care about humanity right. and the future of civilization then I guess, you know, that would be the absolute best choice. Like, you know, the guy was saying, ah, yeah, I left my mom there, even though he he ended up being an asshole. But he was like, yeah, I mean, she's 89 years old. Yeah. You know, are we, you got to make those tough decisions. But anyway, he ended up being a complete douche <laughs> throughout the entirety. <laughs> this movie was able to balance the very intense sequence, but it also got very sad. And that's something that I really didn't expect. Yeah, there were so many moments where it actually hit me emotionally. You know, it's like um, the father-son conversation, you know, when the father is on the cruise ship and you know they he ha has had the warning but now he he's stuck on that cruise ship and there's not much that you know the sun can do about that and like that moment in particular like it, it really hit me and i really like that they took the time to flesh out those moments they took the time to show us the fact that you know 
one father that we saw, he got to say goodbye. The other one, he didn't get the chance to. And it's, you know, those heartbreaking moments, they are to be expected in a cataclysmic event like this. I like that they lingered on it a little bit. Sometimes they move on a little bit too quickly from that. I think it was a good choice to switch kind of back and forth between, you know, the high octane craziness, the, the disaster movie aspect of it to the more vulnerable and a bit more grounded human experience of it all. Because it's it's great that we got we got to see a bit of both. That the the spectacle aspect of this was absolutely incredible. Like the like you mentioned, like the visuals. It's just such a weird feeling where I was just looking at it uh, and just marveling at it because it looked so freaking good, but it was also so terrifying. So it was it was a really complex feeling where I'm like, okay, this is really awesome, but also holy crap, that's terrifying. And I like that they struck that balance. You know, whether it's you know being basically experiencing like a chase scene through you know the streets in california trying to avoid falling buildings on top of you to you know being chased by magma and meteorites and then like the whole wave tsunami scene it's just absolutely incredible and like they each moment even though they were kind of similar to each other they still felt very unique in their own way same like with you know the design of the ships like it was it was really cool that that's what they came up with it was also nice that they kind of hid the fact that they were actual just regular ships like they were arcs right of course because that's when it, what's going to happen right there's going to be rumors there are going to be conspiracy theories some of them are going to be exactly correct and some of them are going to be completely wrong and i love that that once again that was also part of the whole situation right they included things like Yellowstone, you know, it's that dormant volcano storyline part of that. I thought that was a lot of fun. And the actors in this, I think they did a great job. You know, they like every single one of them really sold me on where they were on the journey of this entire thing, right? It's, you know, it's the denial of it all. One of them is more in survival mode, like how do we save? And then there's another one that's idealistic. It's like, how do we save more people? How do we, how do we do more? And it's like, you, you need a, you, you need all of this to kind of collide so you get like the whole complex pie. So you get every single flavor. And I think this movie absolutely delivered that, man. This was a lot of fun. I think it's, it's a solid movie. It's it's really good. Like the drama of it is good. The visuals are the, of this are fantastic. The score did exactly what it was supposed to do. Highly recommend. Yeah, I really sure. enjoyed the score. The score was beautiful, especially in those, you know, hopeful, uplifting moments of the film, which are obviously <laughs> a few scenes here and there. But I really enjoyed how it came in. Whenever, you know, there was action, it was thumping and it really went <laughs> hand in hand with the scenes really allowing us to be fully immersed which is exactly what a score should do but man the thing that really got me pumped i guess when i was experiencing it i was like my goodness whoever did the sound design for this and the mixing mm -hmm. you know what you're doing sir <laughs> this, this sounded amazing again and going back to that earthquake sequence when they're doing that like you mentioned that the, the, like you called it the, the chase sequence on the limousine i could hear destruction 360 around me and it was home <laughs> it was coming in closer and closer towards the limousine and it just felt claustrophobic i never felt like this acoustic paranoia <laughs> and the film really really does that well every single creak and and you know collision you can hear it and it sounds fantastic so if you have a good sound system at home definitely yeah. give this one a try because it sounds incredible guys thank you so much for watching this with us we hope that you enjoyed and as always we'll catch you guys in the next one take care see ya